drum. He went tum 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 tum. Two little monkeys beating on the drum. They went tap it tap it tap it tap it tap it Three little monkeys beating on the drum. They went dum 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 dum. Four little monkeys beating on the drum. They went dum a dum a dum a dum a dum. Five little monkeys beating on the drum. They went boom 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 boom. Dum a dum a dum a dum a dum a dum a dum. Dum 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 dum. Tap it tap it tap it tap it tap it tap it tap. Dum 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 dum. No little monkeys beating on the drum. Along with the deer, the rabbits, birds, and bees, the forest was a happy place. Happy Spiky was not. No one wanted him to play. His quills spoke a lot. Ooh ah, ouch, go away, Spiky! Don't come close to play. Though we like you very much, your quills are sharp. Go away, Spiky! Don't, don't come close to play. Though we like you very much, your quills are sharp to touch. One day to the forest came a wolf as mean as could be. He hadn't eaten for two, three days. Mean and hungry was he. Ran in, looking lean and mean, growling a fearful sound. The animals all ran away. There was panic all around. Spiky the little porcupine curled up tightly into a ball. The wolf thought he was a tasty snack and bit him, quills and all. Ooh, ah, ouch, ouch! I'm in agony. What have I got in my mouth? Yes, can be. He dropped the ball that was spiky and ran away from there. I'll never come back here again. This pain's too much to bear. Now Spiky has a lot of friends: the rabbits, birds, and bees. his teeth in the morning or at night all he does is eat out he eats in the morning he eats at noon he eats in the evening and at night too crunch munch crunch the crocodile eats crunch munch crunch what will happen to his teeth 
he cannot eat at all if his teeth become bad he'll be in a lot of pain and that will make him sad so dear crocodile listen to me please go right away and brush your teeth brush once in the morning and once at night then you can eat all you want cuz your teeth will be all right okay mr crocky now go brush your teeth i hope crocky does brush his teeth it is very important to keep your teeth clean i hope you all enjoyed this little poem until next time it is bye bye from preeti The little giraffe was feeling very bright when out on a walk one day he saw a very odd sight bending over head in the ground was a sight as strange could be thin long neck long thin legs and a big bunch of feathers had he now gussy giraffe was curious so he walked up to this sight and asked him very nicely if he was feeling all right no i'm not no go away came back a strong reply i am feeling miserable cuz i'm a bird and i can't fly now he was the largest of birds and a big ostrich was he and he was feeling sad and angry too was he more than anything else in the world he wanted to fly and just be like the other birds that soared into the sky now gussy the little giraffe had a very wise old friend he was an owl that lived in a tree right around the bend so off went gussy down the bend to see if owl was home to help and give advice so in the sky ostrich could roam now why sold owl was sleeping and he thought it unfair to be woken up from a sleep so deep so ostrich could fly in the air but gussy was his friend you see so owl had to lend a hand so off he flew with a hoot to the bird with his head in the sand Now listen to me, put it down. Listen carefully. With legs so long and very strong, the ground is sky, you see. So run and run, run happily. Spread your wings so wide. Ostrich largest of birds, run with Gussy by your side. Now ostrich is feeling thrilled and with Gussy by his side. the two race each other with long gigantic strides the open grounds their space and they run wild and free a giraffe and an ostrich happy company Spider is a crawling the spider is a crawling the spider
the razor crawling Now he's on my tummy Ooh. The spider's on my tummy Ooh. Does he think I'm yummy? Spider is a crawling Spider is a crawling Spider is a crawling Now he's on my shoulder Spider is a crawling The spider is a crawling The spider is a crawling Now he's on my head Ooh, ooh The spider's on my head Ooh, ooh What will he do next? I am still as I can be Like a statue I freeze Pray the spider on my head won't spin a web around me I can feel him move around And I want to sneeze So I'll quickly shake my head Get that spider off me Ah! Ah! Choo!
fish and to her electric eels. Today, we have a very interesting poem ready for you and this poem is about a creature 
that makes mysterious sound. What could it be? Let's listen. Toohoo, toohoo. What is making that sound? Toohoo, toohoo. I see feathers white and brown. Toohoo, toohoo. Big round eyes I see. Toohoo, toohoo. And talons on its feet. Toohoo, toohoo. Two pointed ears I see. Toohoo, toohoo. And a sharp pointed beak. Toohoo, toohoo. What is that bird I see? Toohoo, toohoo. An owl staring at me. Toohoo, toohoo. Toohoo, toohoo. Toohoo, toohoo. Toohoo, toohoo. Did you all enjoy this poem? I sure hope you did. Until we meet again with another interesting poem. It is Two Hoo Hoo Hoodles from Preeti. Every creature in this world has a home. Some live on land, some in water, and some call the air their home. Hey, if you could choose, where would you live? In water, land, or air? What would you choose?
was so much fun. Don't forget to subscribe to Notes and Lines. See you soon.